Let us study the methods of in situ conservation of rainwater. Runoff water erodes the fertile surface. Hence, the term soil and water conservation is in use. Leftover eroded hard soil surface of this kind is not suitable for crops. On the other hand, the silt accumulates in the tanks, river basins and dams. This results in the poor storage capacity of dams and creates floods. In situ conservation of rainwater is the best solution for all of these problems. Check Dam The small structure of this kind is useful for rainwater harvest at the bottom of the hills. No cement is used here. Collected water percolates deep and recharges the groundwater storage. A canal may draw excess water for the other storage structure or directly for irrigation. Fertile soil collected at the bottom of these check dams may be collected once in a year for crop plants. In the hilly regions, cultivated lands are surrounded by forest. Here, the small pits are useful for rainwater harvest. Since the rainfall is heavy, one or two farm ponds cannot hold the entire rainwater. So, it is better to dig more number of small pits. If the trenches are made into compartments like this, the rainwater stops and percolates down. The overflow may be diverted to the farm ponds built at the lower parts of the farm. These efforts of rainwater harvest keep the vegetation green even in dry summers. It also improves the water sources of tanks and ponds. This is the farm pond, becoming very common now. Decide the size, depth and number of farm ponds depending on the availability of rainwater. Grow the grass along the feeding canal to avoid erosion and silt deposition. No cement or granite slabs are used here. Water stands for 3 to 4 months after the rainy season apart from percolation. This storage is useful for cattle, nursery and life-saving irrigation for small plants. Plough the land across the slope. Make trenches and buns of this size if the slope is steep. The trees planted on these buns will grow fast and healthy without any extra irrigation. The trench will have more moisture which can support seasonal crop plants. Half moon trenches of this kind around plants is useful for soil and water conservation. In bigger plantations, ridges and furrows of this type will harvest the rainwater and help for the speedy growth of plants. Growing plants along the fence and leftover spaces is a good practice. This live fence provides organic matter and firewood. Agroforestry is the best and easiest way of soil and water conservation on the farm. These are the systematic buns on this large farm. Vetiver grass is grown for the stabilization of buns. This grass has a very strong root system which protects the soil against floods. Excess rainwater collects all along the buns and percolates. Some farmers dig trenches along the buns for more storage and better percolation of rainwater. Contour terraces of this type, sand mulching etc. are other effective methods of soil and water conservation on the farm. In earlier days, this hospate industry used to purchase 50,000 litres of water every day. Now, they have built two big tanks of this size to store the rainwater available in the surrounding catchment area. They harvest the roof water also. Four bore wells are provided with rainwater recharge structures. It has shown 50% improvement in the water table. Now, they stopped purchasing water and this storage is sufficient for the entire year. These efforts of rainwater harvesting have improved the water table in the surrounding villages also. They took up afforestation in fallow lands. This industry has become a model for other industries because of its water conservation efforts. This farmer has adopted roof water harvesting structures for this big building. 
Roof water along with the runoff water on the farm is fed to the bore well. 